All right, today we're gonna be testing this thing on two four cells. I got the little 4.1 by 4.1 props. I got regular rotation in the front, counter rotating in the back. Um, I've got two, you can see there's a lot of battery in there. Two 2650 Nanotech Turnages, 35 to 70 C discharge, four cells. Two speed controllers, two motors. Um, when I'm flying, you'll see me wearing this on my head. It's a piece of parachute cord with a spy camera. Laugh if you want, but it gets really good footage and you'll see it later. But uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna bungee launch today. Not much wind, about five, six mile an hour. I cannot find you. Just point it toward the north. I'm not pull the trigger and hold it, or what? Yeah, point it, lead it by about three or four feet. Yeah. Let the plane pass you. Don't follow it. I fly it right at that it. That is the most aggravating thing in the I'm world. I'm not going to fly it right at it, though. Well, how about if I go down and. No, dude, I'm not going to fly it at you. I'm, I don't trust it. No, no, people. lay on the ground. Lay on the ground, and then I point it at you. <laughs> I do a half run. <laughs> Five minutes right now. Here, that 222 is the closest so far. For real. We I'm must gonna, have nailed we must have nailed it in the perfect spot at the perfect I'm gonna, thing. Yeah. I'm gonna circle it and land it. I don't know how I know I've got more battery units than fifty, but we're probably good. Well I got two more in there. Yeah, but I'm saying on this charge. This is it. This is the dead stick glide. Easy, easy, easy. That hook on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, oh. All right. Here's my buddy Bruce. He brought his ME163 with his nice shiny silver canopy. That thing is really easy to see in the air. You'll notice he's got all his markings on his, and mine has nothing. So right side up, upside down, with a motor on the front and back. It looks the same going either way. But uh, his is a little easier to see. He's gonna help me bungee mine on four cell with two props, and then he's gonna pick his up and hand launch it on four cell he's got the same neu motor that i have in the tail of that plane same speed control and battery and everything so um his is, is really quick as also so we, we have something going here this is going to sound sweet with three motors going 
That's that's plenty. That's more than you had last time. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go for it. Make a pass. <laughs> Mine fell apart. Was that the canopy coming off? No, that was the plane coming off. We know how much speed they'll handle. There's one piece. <laughs> My servo's gone. <laughs> There's my servo. It's missing the arm and the wiring, everything. <laughs> There's the plane laying down there in the ditch. If I'm not mistaken, this ain't the first time I've retrieved a plane from this ditch. There's a canopy. I thought the canopy had came off and that caused too much pressure in the plane, but the canopy didn't come off until it landed. That wing just come clean off. Look at that. Both batteries still plugged in. Motor's still humming. Well, see, mine had structural integrity problems anyway from being so beat up. So there's, it's not saying that a stock one wouldn't go 200 plus and not hold together. Find all the motors? Yeah, the other one's in it. One motor's hanging out the back. The NEU's right there. The other one's right there. Oh, okay. The prop didn't even break because <laughs> it landed. I think it landed tail first. I think it just stopped in midair when it floated. That was neat though, wasn't it? Did you hear it? Yeah. Bloop. Yeah. Bloop. Plane fetty. <laughs> <laughs>